Hey golfers, Drew Mulhold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by James Tracy. He's a master club fitter here at Second Swing. And today we're going to talk a little bit about shaft flex and how important it is for your game. Now James, I know you get this question a lot from fitters. Obviously choosing shaft flex is very important in your fittings. Um, I guess, how would we start off this conversation? Um, how do you make that decision for golfers? Shafts are scary. There are so many and they're mm -hmm. so complex and they're kind of mysterious for most golfers. I would probably answer your question with a series of questions. Is that cool? That's, That's kind of what happens in a lot of my fittings. That's so, me. so Drew, let's say you're buying a new golf shirt. That's a really nice second swing polo, but let's say you want to spice up your claws a little bit, add some more, some more variety, mm -hmm. right? When you're, say you're on secondswing.com buying a shirt, are you picking out a specific size? Yeah. Generally, right? Mm -hmm. How many times have you bought a shirt without picking out the size or knowing what the size was? I mean, yeah, I always know the size. How long would it take you to realize that a shirt is not the right size? Let's say you got It'd home be, and hey, whoop, this was a double extra large. <laughs> that'd be pretty quick decision. You, would, and can, you can tell the difference when a shirt is one size off from what you normally wear, usually. Yeah. How long would it be before you stop wearing that shirt? It would be pretty quick. Okay, yeah. same thing happens with golf shafts. Interesting. Think of a golf shaft just like a shirt. Every shaft comes in a small, medium, large, and extra large. Senior, regular, stiff, and extra stiff. If you are one size off, it will not take long before you realize it doesn't fit me. A light flex shaft. You can see a little bit of flex there. This is a regular flex graphite design. See a little bit there. It's stiff flex. Getting a little harder to Obviously, you bend it, then you're extra stiff. <laughs> and then you're just going to want to try something different. You know, so if you want some a shaft to have some staying power and to complement your swing, just like a good shirt complements your body type, you want to make sure you're getting the right size or flex. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, that's a great analogy. And then fitting is a lot like trying on a shirt, right? If you don't have the ability to put it on, you know, you might know, hey, I'm typically a large, right? Mm -hmm. But there, if you never try on a shirt before you buy it, you're going to grab a large, assume it's going to fit, because I, yeah, I play large, yeah, I, I wear true. large, but there is no universal standard for large. And that's the same with shafts, unfortunately. There's no universal stiff. There's no universal yeah. regular. So I think that generally, if you buy your clubs online, or if you are trying to determine, should I play regular or stiff, there are ways to get into the right size. But if you really want to truly know, you know, within that particular flex, should I be playing a little heavier? Should I be playing a little lighter? What stiff flex out there mm -hmm. is the best match for me? What's going to make my game perform the best? Then that's really where fitting you know, right. allows us to nail down those things because a shaft is much more, way much more than just the flex. It's right. the weight, it's the torque, it's the bend profile, it's the length. You know, there's so many variables there. Yeah, absolutely. And so going from, let's say, regular to stiff to extra stiff, um, what are the flight characteristics that you would notice on shots? Let's say the same person is swinging with all three shaft flexes. What are you going to notice from the regular flex and what are you going to notice from a stiff and an extra stiff as you go up? That's a good question. Again, just like a lot of our videos, I can't promise anything to a golfer when it comes to that. Generally, we would expect that as you go from regular to stiff to extra stiff, because in 99% of cases, that means the shaft is getting heavier. There mm -hmm. are some shafts where the weight is constant between flex, but yeah. for most companies, to make a shaft stiffer, to go from regular to stiff to extra stiff, you're adding more materials, it's making it heavier. So I would usually expect a player to start to see lower ball flight, maybe lower spin, as you make the shaft stiffer. However, if you get, you'll get to a point where, let's say you normally play senior flex, right? And if I hand you an extra stiff shaft, it might work completely opposite. Because you, it, you, it's going to change the way you swing. Mm -hmm. Some players might actually hit an extra stiff higher because it's changing how they swing. So if you miss flex, big time if you're way too firm mm -hmm. or way too soft the shaft might do something completely opposite of what it's designed to do interesting so it's not quite that simple so i think that you know when you're comparing the difference between regular 
and stiff, say you're a tweener, you're a player that's right on the borderline. You have to determine really what is it that you want that shaft to help you do. Mm -hmm. Are you hoping to tighten up the dispersion? Are you hoping to have more control? Well, generally, if you're in between, a shaft that's a little bit more stable, generally, is easier to control. Interesting. Right? If your swing is, you're struggling to get the ball higher, or you have a swing style where you prefer yes. to swing easy, and you're on the borderline, you might prefer the way a slightly softer shaft feels, because it allows you to swing smooth. Mm -hmm. It allows me to, I can feel the shaft helping me a little bit more. And for some players, that might be better. I think a question that we ask a lot for, let's say I'm talking to someone on the phone or maybe someone online who's trying to figure out, well, I don't have a launch monitor. I can't actually go in and right. test. You know, a question that I ask a lot, Drew, is what club do you use from 150 yards? I used to ask, how far do you hit your driver? And I've learned over 10 years of fitting that no one answers that question. <laughs> Truthfully? <laughs> well, they don't know. I mean, your best drive of the day versus your worst drive, it yeah. might be 50 yards in between those oh, two yeah. shots. I, so how do you answer that? Guilty for that, for sure. Totally. Well, I'll, <laughs> I, you know, I, can, I can speak to that for sure. But most golfers are going to give you a pretty good answer, and you probably know the answer of what club you use from 150 yards. So if someone answers that question quickly with, oh, pitching wedge. I hit wedge from 150. Or maybe a 9-iron that hit it really high. You're probably an extra stiff player. You got a lot of speed. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's tour level type of distance. So if that's your answer, you're thinking most likely extra stiff. Okay. If someone answers that question and they say, "Well, I hit my nine iron, but it's pretty low," I guess you know, or I, you know, usually it's more like a smooth eight iron. That's probably a stiff flex. The majority of golfers, if I, that's all I know, yeah. And if I recommend stiff, probably gonna be okay. I'm not gonna make a huge mistake. By sure. making that recommendation. Same thing. You say seven iron, six iron, regular. You say six iron, hybrid, anything beyond, you're probably going to play best with a senior flex. So I think that's a simple question to ask yourself or in a fitting. We ask that a lot before we dive into things, and that gives us a good baseline to try to start figuring out that answer. Interesting. I mean, obviously, it is a case by case basis with every golfer. So this is a general. Uh, you know, kind of starting point. Yeah, there's no recipe that's going to get yeah. you there. I think that's why we have, you know, so many different fitting options mm -hmm. in our stores, which allow us to really, some players, they just want to know, should I be medium or large? Should mm -hmm. I be regular or stiff? And I think that's a good question, and that's a good way to think about, you know, just answering that simple baseline question. Sure. If you really want to get down into the nitty-gritty and compare all the different weights and all the different profiles of shafts, and you got to find a fitter that you can go into a store, get into a hitting bay, and see some numbers mm -hmm. and actually experience what happens to the numbers when I make a shaft stiffer, mm -hmm. what happens to the numbers in my experience with that club when I make it a little softer. And it's not always going to be the same for every player. I mean, right. You do a lot of what's in the bag content, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're always looking at oh, that yeah. stuff. How many tour pros have you found that have this exact same shafts from driver oh. to putter? None. I mean, it's and how many go how many tour players probably have a very similar swing speed? Yeah, they, it's all very similar if they're on tour. And they're all do they're all loading they're all swinging correctly. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's differences, but they're what they do to a golf club is efficient. Mm -hmm. So you know, if there was a particular shaft that was always good for a certain speed, then everyone on you'd see a lot more right. bags that look the same. You know, so mm -hmm. so that's part of it too. You gotta. Just like buying back to buying a shirt. I mean, you know, everybody's got a different taste in how they want their apparel to fit. You know, with it's the same thing with the golf club. There are different things that are going to work mm -hmm. for different players. So flex is in a really important piece. If you have the flex correct, you're probably an eight out of ten with that shaft. You're not going to struggle. You're not going to return it. You're going to be in a good spot. But if you want to make it better, then you got to start diving into some of those other yeah. aspects of the shaft that can help you mm -hmm. even more. And like you said too before that you know a, a size large polo is not the same at all or at all brands right so it's important too to you know if you're a stiff flex and a certain brand will be different and that's why you know a driver for you might be a stiff shaft and your irons might be extra stiff or vice versa it happens um, sometimes yeah, case by case basis it's going to be different 100 percent yeah remember the shaft is doing something different in each one of your golf clubs mm -hmm. 
you know, there's different things you want the shaft to be able to do. Ultimately, the only way the shaft is going to help you perform better is if it's a shaft that allows you to make the same contact, repeatable contact, and have control over the collision of that head and that golf ball. You know, for some players, a softer shaft, they're more consistent with. They hit it more solid. That's going to result in better ball flight. For some players, they need something a little stiffer in order to keep control of their downswing and make consistent contact. So it's really finding a shaft, once you find that perfect head, that's going to help you deliver that head to the ball as consistent as possible. And that's, that's the fun part about fitting shafts. You never know where it's going to go. Yeah. But hopefully this gives you some, some reference and helps you figure out at least a starting point. You know, I'm probably this size or this flex. Yeah, awesome, James. This is some great information for us.